The last step is a board cleanup. So I prepare for you two scripts. The first one, activate your zone, configure the flash watermark, and also it will flash a non-secure application on a secure application. The secure application will just jump to the non-secure application, and this non-secure application do blue, green, LED blinking in a loop. So it ensures that you can always connect. So it will also set all the option by to default value. And with a step 11 regression script, we will just activate RDP 0.5. And then we do a regression from RDP 0.5 to the RDP level 0 on removing the trust zone. With the both script, you are sure to have the default value in your option byte, even when trust zone is enabled. Let's do this together. So first, step 10. So it will activate your zone. It will set all the default values that you use in all the examples of HL. You can see the two LED blinking, and it's important before continuing. And now you can launch the step 11 regression. So it will do a transition from RDP0 to RDP0.5, and then RDP0.5 to 0 to remove trust zone. So first, you just go to the RDP0.5, and we still have the LED blinking, so that means we we'll manage to connect. And then we do the regression and remove the trust zone. And now we can see that RDP is level 0, trust zone is disabled, and we've got some default value in the right protection. We can see the watermark on the sec boot address because it can only be seen by acti after activating the trust zone. But now it's in line. Thanks all for your attention and I hope you like those hands-on.